a very strict school, where everyone must walk in a straight line and only necessary books may be brought in, everybody's bags will be checked, and security screening will be conducted. A peacock that can talk is one of the strangest things at the school. The principal angrily asks the peacock if he can help improve the number of admissions and students passing the exams. Students are forced to read all of the school's rules, such as, students should not bring food from outside, photos of celebrities are not permitted, there are multiple rules like this. Then there's central character. One of her friends tell that, she went to Japan and paid 1,000 Taiwan dollars for this hairstyle, which is very cheap and she boasts a lot. When she was walking, all she heard were stories about wealthy people. Two girls invited her to eat with them, but she declined and sat alone, she became depressed because she felt everyone else in the school was wealthy except her. Her father is a taxi driver, and her mother works as a waitress, her father spends his money on lottery tickets. One day, she went near the peacock cage to wait for her friend to give her the gift she had brought with her, as she looked at the gift, she heard someone laughing and tell her, how can you call this a gift? She looked around but couldn't find anyone. She became terrified and fled from there to the classroom. Everyone begins exchanging gifts, and other students inquire about the gift she brought. Seeing the rest of the expensive gifts, she sadly gave her gift to her friend, but seeing that gift, everyone appreciates her and tells her that she is skilled. Later that day, she and her father were looking at the lottery results when their mother showed up, and they had to hide everything, mother noticed this and told them not to hide, but to go check the results to see if we had won, however, not a single number matched. Her mother tells her about the school meeting and how the school was planning to send her to an international competition. They are overjoyed and hug each other. After that, her parents discuss their financial difficulties, the father asks his wife if they should spend this much to send her to that competition, to which the mother replies, you spend much more buying lotteries. Later, when she asked for money to go out to dinner with her friends, her mother gave her a few pennies. The next day, she went to sit near the peacock cage, holding those pennies, and the peacock asked her, why is my family so poor, I wish my family had a lot of money, you have been thinking this right. She tried to run from the peacock, who had asked her to stay and listen. The peacock informed her that she could not afford French cuisine with those pennies. She inquired of the peacock, are you speaking to me, in a fearful tone, the peacock replied, there is no one else in front of me except you, while she was returning because she believed she was in a delusion, the peacock replied, I can help you. The peacock offered that I can give you money, if you exchange something with me. The peacock demands a small favor in return. When she returned home and she discovered a handful money in her shoes, she began thinking about something, and thinks about peacock's offer. While she was having fun with her friends at her birthday party, she noticed that she had an eye problem, she became terrified, she realized she couldn't understand the colors. The next day, while painting, she couldn't understand the colors, then she went to the peacock and asked it, did you do it, the peacock responded, my feathers are so much more beautiful than before, I exchanged colors with you, she asked the peacock to return her colors, but the peacock said that once you exchange something, it cannot be returned. Don't be sad, the peacock asked her if she had a good time yesterday like everyone else, she angrily tells the peacock that she will never exchange anything with her. Peacock responded, I'm not looking for anything else from you, a new student will be arriving at school tomorrow, so please bring her to me. The new girl comes to the classroom she introduce herself, the girl asks the newcomer to sit with her, after some time they both went near to the peacock's cage, they start chit-chatting, the newcomer tells this is a weird school, even the free time, we cannot play. Okay, no worries, which school will have a peacock cage inside? After a few days, when the examination to result comes, the newcomer was last in the class, everyone was so shocked. She noticed the newcomer near the peacock cage, where she was having conversations with the peacock. After a few days, when the results were announced, the newcomer was the overall top scorer, from then on, she performed impressively in all of her exams. They heard the sound of a peacock while playing, but it was the newcomer whose voice changed to that of a peacock at the same time, 
main character was eating grass, which shocked her friend. Her father was furious after receiving a letter from school thanking him for the donations, by that time, her father had heard the sound of a frog, and while searching, he discovered she was cooking a frog, she became terrified and told that it was not for me, but for the school's peacock. The father then went to the school and visited the peacock, who asked in a funny voice, you're her father and what do you want? The father was shocked to hear this and asked in a hard voice to leave his daughter alone, Peacock laughs and says, I invited everyone who passed by, but only if you came to me, your daughter being one of them, you work so hard and earn so little money, I will give you money, but you must give me something in return, as asked by the peacock. In the later scene, her father advises her and tells her that you and your happiness are important to me, so never go near that peacock. When her brother goes to that peacock, she drags him away from it, but her brother ignores her and goes to the peacock, the peacock inquired as to what you would exchange in return, to which he replied, I need to improve my math skills the peacock responded, you don't need to give me anything now, you will know what I took when you return home. So that night, they were waiting for their parents, but when they didn't arrive after work, they had to learn that both had lost their jobs, when she realized this, she became enraged and went to the peacock, asking, why are you doing this to us? Was this you took in exchange for my brother? She asked Peacock, did you do this to us, because we're poor? Peacock responded, no, I took it because they work so hard. She asked Peacock to give her father a job, to which Peacock responded, how can an uneducated 50-year-old man get a job? She tells the Peacock her sad story, and the Peacock responds, I can help you, but you have two choices, either enjoy with your friends or I will give you a lot of money and make you so popular in this school. She began to think and said, I will do anything in return. Peacock asked, are you ready to exchange anything? Her father wins the lottery the next day. On the same day, while she was at school, her eyes transformed into peacock eyes. She ran into her room after returning home, shut the doors, and chose to remain alone in the room. What happened, her father inquired. Did that peacock accomplish anything? He says I'm going to kill that peacock. When she heard that, she opened the door and told him not to go. What will you do if it asks the money back? Everyone was shocked when they saw her. After seeing this, her family approached the peacock and asked, Are you the devil? Bring back our daughter to her former self, father says we will return everything you gave us, including the money. I don't need the money back, Peacock replied, but you should accept a deal, the plan is to trade school, her mother bursts out laughing and asks the Peacock how this is possible. Peacock replied, you all signed a consent, burn that, and change this school to a normal school, to which mother replied, it's not possible, it shouldn't be, to which father agreed. When she returned home, her mother disagreed with her father, and they began arguing. They went to steal the consent form from the school, they planned it, and it worked out, so they burned that form, when they returned home, their mother told them that they would be sorry if the school changed to a regular school. The very next day, there is a protest at school, declaring that we will not enter without checking our bags, security informs them that you must accept the new rules, one of the students wonders what will happen if someone brings something that is not permitted. She and her father approached Peacock and asked, why are you fooling us? Peacock replied, it was a deal with the mother, but she didn't do that. When they return home, her mother begins to tell her about her brother, but her father tells her, look at our daughter, she is suffering because of you, and if you've not sent our daughter to that school, she would be fine, says her father. Mother responded, I thought about her future father responded, you messed with her present life while thinking about her future. In between their conversations, the central character came over and said, this is all because of your egotism, we were born poor and should have adjusted to that. Mother screams angrily, who told you we couldn't change our fate? Her mother began to cry and said, we worked so hard to change that fate. Despite this, her mother did not attempt to understand her, so she left. Later, her mother went to kill the peacock, but the peacock told her that even if she killed me, she would not get what she wanted, the peacock threatened her and sadly told her that she is not a good mother. 
you were never good to your children. She refused to hear what the peacock said and began crying, the peacock says, I know all your sufferings, to which mother responds, then why don't you help us? Peacock says I'll help you, but it's what you give back that counts, I will give you one more chance, but you must demonstrate how much you love your daughter. When the security guard saw the women entering the peacock cage, he rushed over to the cage and saw only one peacock. When she awoke the next day, she was back to normal, which shocked her. Seeing this, she went to her father and brother and told them that she was fine now. When they tried to call their mother, she did not answer. In the next scene, after two years, a missing notice of their mother is shown. It mentions that she was last seen entering the peacock cage. In the final scene, they were eating near the peacock, and they fed the peacock. And the it ends there.